What's up everybody? It's Conger Live. We're back again with another DC Worlds Collide video. We're going to be doing some trials today. Uh, I'm going to just knock out the ones that I have left because this is more fun than playing new games that suck. So if you're new to the channel, did you kick the like button, subscribe for more content, and let's get into it. You are now watching Conger Live, part of the DC Worlds Collide content creator program. Okay, so in the adventure trials, I got three heroes to do. I got Nightwing, Red Hood, and John. So uh, we're going to start off with John, go with Red Hood second and Nightwing last. Just going to run through these as fast as possible. I'm not going to read through the skills because we're not really learning about the characters much here. And yeah, it's uh, uh yeah. So John's got the uh, soaking up damage, and then eliminates whoever does the most damage. Not eliminates, but does the damage back to whoever did the most damage. Introducing his alt. This what I was. John's was the most recent character that they added to the game. And then we got that month long what the heck is going on and then the announcement that yeah the game's dead it's nothing's happening with it and it's all because of the uh, discovery merger right because this isn't the only thing that got canned from the merger of these companies, you know, the Batgirl movie, that's done for. A lot of projects are, are changing. So the only really good news is, is that there will be a new DC game coming. We don't know when, because this company, who knows how long it's going to take this company to get their stuff together. Um, but there will be something. Uh, eventually, and I hope that I can cover that when the time comes. But I just don't knew. I just don't know how long it's going to be. So hopefully, I can find something entertaining for you guys when, um, and for myself, more, more so for myself. Um, but I appreciate everybody who watches these videos, who's been a part of the community. I especially appreciate the 30 to 40 of you that have been watching my first impression videos. Because um, those are doing very poorly when it comes to Google Analytics or uh, YouTube Analytics. And that's not a surprise because most of my viewers come here for information about a specific game. You know, I, I built a huge part of my viewers through Ninja Turtles and then a lot of you guys came since then uh, here with DC Worlds Collide. Um, the other games I've tried to cover or have covered a little bit, um, I didn't dedicate enough time and energy to those, um, whether it was before Ninja Turtles or between Ninja Turtles and here, um, or the games just didn't have a big enough following. So really hoping that um, something comes out of this, you know? Oh, so now we have GBS characters as pairs, but with Sinestro's tactical. Well, we will definitely use Sinestro. <clears throat> Yeah, this, this game has so much potential. The art's great. Uh, I think the mechanics were fairly well balanced for the most part. We know they had worked on the Joker. We knew Black Adam was gonna was intended to come back to the game. It was part of a, a previous uh, beta or even alpha version. But uh, DC uh, shutting things down, or Warner Brothers shutting things down, and uh, really uh, 
changing gears on the whole IP. Some fans are unhappy, but I think that in the long run, I think some of the hardcore fans, if the company does what's right for the IP, um, whatever comes next will hopefully be worth the wait. That's that's the hope that uh, there's there's something better coming. Should be something better coming. Oh no, God, no. I don't think it matters. It might. I think uh, I'll do at least one more video besides this uh, trials video, um, and maybe one more after that um, before I, I stop creating content for this game altogether. Because you can't download this game, you can't start a new account, so only the existing players could potentially benefit from any content I create. Um, and I'm curious. One thing I'm curious about is the. Uh, content creator program. So we're going to get into Red Hood now. We completed uh, Green Lantern John. Um, what, I'm, what I'm curious is they have the content creator program and they said, yeah, let's do another month of it. Let's, they said, yeah. When we were in hiatus, kind of wondering what was happening. Oh, goodness. Losing on a... Um, yeah, that's what it is. We need to change his position so he takes out back row. Um, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. It's not that important. I guess it's just not that important. Uh, if a crit doesn't happen, re-enter and try again. There's a crit, but I think it's got to be on the first hit. Yeah. A lot of RNG based here. There we go. right side so he takes all of Batman's damage. Give him a chance to come back. how long it'll be before we get another a new game
good art. Yes, yeah, so I think what I was distracted on talking about is the uh, I'll do the cyborg uh, origin story um, for posterity because once the game's closed, we, we, might be the only way you can go see some of that stuff. You know, I did the I did the Wonder Woman one. I did the Green Arrow one. So I'll do that. I got this. Um, I may when I finally get to the guaranteed when I open I guess every week when I open stuff until I get the guaranteed uh, legendary I'll do that I'll also probably do a video on the on the unrestricted arena finale because um, I'm actually going to be in the top for that this time So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making a few videos at least over the next week or two uh, for this, but I'm gonna be running through it as much as possible. I know most people have lost the motivation. I'm in the top 20s, like definitely like two thirds of the player base, and rightfully so. They they just stop. They know the game's dying. Why play for the next couple months? Well, the reason why I'm continuing to play is because it's more enjoyable, even though I know it's dead than just about everything else. I still have other games I play regularly, but they're not games I feel like covering. Um, and, you know, I play South Park Phone Destroyer. That game was officially announced dead just a couple months ago. Um, I did a little bit of coverage for that game before I got into Ninja Turtles. But I didn't cover it hardcore. I just covered my team wars once a week. Um, it was before I I worked on making content creation a daily thing or near daily activity. Um, and had I maybe you know tried to do content daily back then, um, maybe I wouldn't even have gotten into Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Maybe I would have done better with South Park. I, I'm not sure, but. Um, but yeah, that game has got like one more card coming out later this year, and then that's it. But the servers will stay open for a while. It's not like this game where the cert, like the game is officially dying. But like we we know we don't know the termination date of that, but it's it's gonna end. And then there's um, you know Ninja Turtles, the Mutant Madness game that many of you know uh, that I played. They're not making any new content for that game either since what January, but the servers are still going and the, 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 they're still accepting new players. And I've I've had people come to my YouTube channel to and still communicate me, ask me stuff about that game. So, um, but I don't see myself making any more new content for that, or not very much, and not very often. Uh, another thing is is that uh, there's there's plenty of players who were a huge help to me when uh, early on and even throughout um, and a lot of those players left the game a long time ago and then some of the other players um, that were very very helpful their attitudes changed um, so that's uh, I'm not I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really worried about that community much anymore um, I did some coverage of Seven Deadly Sins, and there was one of my videos that did really, really well, performed really well, um, and like two years later, I went all through my whole Ninja Turtle time, one of the videos was like outperforming all my other videos, which I thought was kind of funny, but also very grateful for, um, and that's a net marble game, and then I played, but I didn't cover, um, Marvel Future Revolution for quite a while. I was in the, the soft launch of that and then played hardcore on the on the uh, global launch without making content. I just hung out with a lot of the other content creators that did cover that game. 
Um, but yeah, the, the grind on that game is just is too much. And that's the, the type of grind on that game is the same reason why I downloaded Diablo Immortal, never opened the app, haven't played it once. And it's not because I don't think I would enjoy it, it's just I know it would be a heavy grind. And where this game is something I can log in, I can play for 20 or 30 minutes, or I can play for 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, and I can get get it done. Where with some of those other... Some of those others, yeah, there we go. Um, it just... You know, heavy duty but you know when with some of those heavier duty games definitely a ch higher chance of following but you know this is not a full-time job for me this is a hobby uh, this is something I do for fun um, I have a wife I have a kid I have a full-time career so I I'm looking for a game that's like this where I can put in a couple hours a day on the weekends and maybe 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe an hour on the weekdays and the evenings, um, and still get a lot out of the game as a player, and still be able to provide a lot of quality content to the community. Um, so that's that's a challenge, definitely, um, to find a game that people like, and to also be able to give my two cents in a way that benefits the community. So. That's that's where we're at. I, I don't know the future of this channel. Um, I was happy with pivoting towards this, especially because it was uh, it's a soft launch, and everyone assumed it was going to become a global launch game. Uh, even though that didn't happen, um, that was kind of uh, an assumption there. So, yep, hoping, hoping when the next DC game comes out, um, that's something like this. I'm able to uh, cover it because uh, another thing I never covered any Marvel Strike Force. I never covered any Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, but I played those games. I played them each for about a year and a half each, um, with a little bit of over overlap. Um, and those those are still good games and for the most part. Um, I like how this is game, like the Ninja Turtle games, is a bit simpler. There's uh, there's still some thought and some strategy that goes into it, but it's not as mentally exhausting. And the daily grind, I think, is not as bad here as it was in those in those games. Like raiding in Strike Force was horrible. I I put that back in January, like right before I found out Ninja Turtle was dying. <laughs> Where. Maybe, maybe had I not quit it, maybe I could have started creating content for it. People would ask me about it, but there's a lot of really good content creators for that game already. And not to say I wouldn't have some good insight. It's just um, I was I was not enjoying the power leap, as they called it. It was not the power creep. It was a power leap. Um, and I wasn't willing to spend the type of money that was basically needed for uh, some major competition in that game. And same with Swoga, I started, I started that game late. Um, I didn't start early on, so I was always behind. And then when the Galactic Legends came out, I was like, yeah, I'm never gonna achieve that and it was just not going to happen for me well there we go we got all our trials completed i think uh the only ones i'm missing are the legendary heroes yep that's it so if i happen to unlock one of these legendary heroes when i do the uh, legendary unlock we'll do one more trial 
Um, we will go into Origins at some point and do the Cyborg Origin. I'll probably watch it myself before I record it so I can make sure I know. How many voices do I got to do? Because I really like doing those voices. Um, I've got a lot of positive comments um, when I've done the voices for not just this game, but other games and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching and being part of the community. Uh, I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I'd like to hear some suggestions for games for to go check out. I will see if it's something worth covering or at least doing a first impression on. As always, Ninja kick that like button, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.